What do you call it? Do you call it uh, a yurt? Uh, yurta? Jatiri? Pirates, they definitely call it Dayart. Hi guys! My name is Pavel. I built this place pretty much from scratch. I moved to Cyprus almost 12 years ago and I found this little treasure over here out on the hills. I, I spent like a few years of dreaming about creating a, a sustainable place somewhere out in the nature that will help people to reconnect with themselves and just relax and unwind and maybe heal themselves a little bit. And, but I kind of thought that I was on my own in, in this thinking. And, but once I set the place up, I just got flooded with like-minded people I realize lots of people that are kind of thinking the same way and that they want the same thing you know just be out in the nature and spend some quality time with themselves with their loved ones sometimes people imagine it's a tent and you know how can it be comfortable actually it's a luxurious way of, of camping and probably the most luxurious wooden floors uh, wood burner you'll be super cozy warm in the winter it's like incredibly warm in the summer we open the tops of the yurt so all the hot air escapes through the top and brings cooler through the door what's for breakfast coffee <laughs> perfect <laughs> breakfast is included got a nice uh, traditional breakfast and also we cook dinner welcome <laughs> We are the happiest people on planet Earth right now. Thanks, Pavel. So this is the uh, Nasu yurt. It sleeps uh, up to four people. Got this nice big double bed. Two single futons. And there's tea and coffee making facilities. And there's obviously electricity here. As you can see, loads of lights are on. Uh, Wi-Fi, so you don't have to use it. And there's a Bluetooth rechargeable speaker, so you can play some music. And that's that. I must have built probably uh, a thousand meters of dry stone walls here. Uh, like this was my um, lockdown project. There's another wall above that you cannot see from here. Yeah. 